Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. It is now 2017, and for the first video of 2017, I am going to introduce the new Ubiquiti Unify switches. This is the Unify Switch 8. This is the guy we're actually going to use in our Unify Controller Lab. We will eventually get to this guy. Uh, this is the Unify Switch 8 60 watts. It's got four ports of PoE. But in this video, we're going to go with the Switch 8. Now, the Switch 8, actually, let's go ahead and, and hop over real quick and look at the data sheet for the switches. And the version 8 that we are going to use has PoE pass through. So it's perfect. It's going to allow us to use um, one port for an access point when we get to that part of the videos. So here is the US-8. It's got eight gigabit ports, one PoE pass-through port. Maximum power consumption is 12 watts. PoE or DC input option. You can buy these in a single pack or a five pack. I will tell you that um, the, this switch and the other Unify switch were sorely needed. I don't know how many of these small D-Link DGS switches that are VLAN capable that I've got out there, the eight porters, they came in. I think when I started buying them, they were like 69, 75 bucks, somewhere in that range. And I think they're down to like $59 now. But if you're into that single pane management, this is going to be an excellent replacement for that. So there will be a second video on the US 860 watt that I'm not going to do that one in this video. Go down to our hardware specs for our US 8 and I'll actually show you. I showed you in the last video how small this was but uh, we will actually unbox this here and I'll put a link. I'll put this link down in the, the description. So here is the this is the US 8 and you can see there's the Ubiquiti logo on the box then the other side so instead of like the white wrap around this is you know a cardboard box inside of the white sleeve so now here's our cardboard box go ahead and open it up and see what's in the box the first thing we have in the box is the switch in the cellophane package so here it is and then over here you've got your LED indicator so that's white just like on the other unified devices when it needs adoption and then blue when it is adopted and then your other LEDs are going to be they're going to be on the top and then there's your PoE flip it around and over here you've got the grounding lug over here you've got the input and you got the reset button and then on the bottom you've got some mounting holes so these these are sorely needed in the line this is this is fantastic we have uh, of course the quick start guide I don't think there's anything special about this one. It doesn't look like it. So, quick start guide as always. And then, of course, we have let's see, some mounting screws. And then our power brick. So, what we're going to do is we're going to adopt this guy in and we're going to try to do it using our ubiquity utility through Chrome. So I'm going to get everything wired in and we'll be right back. Okay, so everything's plugged in. And the way this is set up is we have our USG at the front of the network. And then from the LAN port on the USG, we go to our switch 8 and then my PC <clears throat> is plugged into that switch so everything's booted up so let's see 
if we can um, let's see if we can see the switch and get it adopted here. So here's our discovery tool and I clicked on Unify Family and now you can see it says Unify Switch 8 and here's the IP 192.168.1.7 is in a pending status so we'll click on action and we'll go to set in form and then we are going to change the or the uh, IP to the IP of our cloud key and we'll execute that and we'll hop over to our Unify install and if we look at LAN we've got zero active devices but one pending and so now the US switch 8 is showing up so we're gonna go ahead and adopt okay so we are still adopting here now we're connected we're gonna take a look at this guy so you can see if I hover over port 1 that the um, uplink is to our lab USG we are passing all VLANs and networks there's nothing in port 2 port 3 has my PC plugged into it but you're not you're not seeing that real quick let's go into the configuration and let's call this our lab switch 8 and we can poke around here a little bit we can take a look at the ports you can see that we're not passing any PoE uh, through on that last port yet. There are those networks and VLANs. Um, here's the management VLAN and we only have the one network. Here's our spanning tree setup. Our network uh, configure using DHCP. We could actually uh, set a static IP and we are gonna do that. Our gateway is the USG. And so once this reprovisions, it will have a static IP address. And we've got some DPI data going on here. Go back to our devices. We're still provisioning. We've got our connectivity back, and now it is connected. And you can see that this IP right here changed from one dot whatever it was to uh, one dot five. And while we're in here, we'll actually go in, and we're going to change that DHCP range. I don't think there's any need to have that many. Um, IPs on this small of a network so we're going to change that to 1.200 and then some of these other options that we have in here uh, the DHCP guarding it's it's kind of an excellent idea because what it protects against is anybody plugging another device into that switch that is handing out DHCP so you can turn that on put the IP address of well we'll just do it we'll uh, put the IP address of the USG because that's what's handing out the IPs and I'm trying to think if we need to set anything else DHCP least time should be fine servers or name servers we're not gonna deal with IGMP snooping today so I think we're gonna go back to we'll go to devices everything is provisioned so far so in this network we've got a cloud key we've got the USG we've got the switch 8 so now if we go to map and we go to topology look at this starting to starting to evolve so you've got the lab USG that's connected to the lab switch 8 and then the how family is connected from there so and by clicking on these uh, on the, the client it would bring up the the page if I click on either the infrastructure devices it will collapse or expand those so you can see we're building this out and you can see where this is going so in the next unify video that I do that's where we're gonna power up an AP 
So off of this switch, then we'll have an AP and then we'll connect a device to the AP. So you're going to see how that's built out. So we're getting close. If you've got any questions about what we did today, uh, please put them down in the comments. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please comment, please subscribe, please share, and we'll see you in the next video.